Management and leadership, number seven. Don't be a loner. You can't do it on your own. You're not a de facto expert. It is 428 p.m. I'm sitting in my driveway. We are home. We did it. We made it. Okay, so you've been on a about 10 hour journey with me today and that's okay. We proved the point, we set the precedent, we achieved what we set out to do. So the next time I need to send somebody to do it and they say, oh, it can't be done. It's too hard, too many cabinets, it's too cold, it's whatever. It can be done. It's done, we did it. I would show you all pictures, but um, a lot of the houses that we work on, we are contractually obligated not to release video or uh you know, picture videos of it because they're custom homes in uh, secured neighborhoods that people don't want their stuff out on the internet and I don't blame them. But suffice it to say, they're very nice cabinets and a very nice home. But lesson seven, don't be a loner. You are not the de facto expert, okay? You hired a bunch of really good people to do what needs to get done at your business, on your team, wherever, okay? So leave them alone and let them do their jobs. If they need help, they're gonna come tell you because at this point, you've invested time in them, you've, you've trained them up, you've coached them, they have a vested interest in you, you've built this context, you've built this relationship. They don't want to disappoint you. So they're not gonna go out and just dick around and waste your time and waste your money. And if they do, you correct that. Okay, but by and large, they are there to, to make you happy. They want to garner your attention and appreciation, right? They want to fulfill their obligation to you to be all that you hired them to be. So leave them alone and let them do it. Don't be up your people's asses, okay? Don't, what's that, uh, seagull leadership? Just swoop in, shit on somebody and leave again? <laughs> Don't do that, okay? Hire good people, let them do their jobs. If they need help, give them help. But you're not the expert. If you were the expert, you wouldn't need those people. In Newsflash, you need your team, okay? They are going to maximize your ability to get the job done, whatever that job is. So trust them to do that job. Give them a lot of trust. Give them even, even when there's something that you're unsure about, Err on the side of trust. Now, if your intuition says this guy's a scumbag or this girl's a scumbag, address that. But if you're really just, if it's a logical thing and you're unsure, err on the side of trust and communicate with your people. Have a conversation. Hey, I'm concerned about this. What am I not seeing here? What don't I understand? You know what? Or you could say, you know, it may just be my ego but this thing that you did offended me or it, it hurt me when you said whatever. Now, I'm in the construction industry, so a lot of this conversation is extremely rare and that's okay. It sets us apart as a team to be able to say, hey, you know what, uh, brother, I'd like five minutes of your time when you have a chance today because there's something I wanna discuss with you. Now, you've piqued their interest you're treating them like an adult. You're treating them like an equal. And then you pull them aside and they say, what's up, man? I said, you know, earlier today, uh, you said this thing and I'm pretty certain you didn't mean to have, you know, you didn't mean for me to feel this way when you said it, but this is how it affected me. Or I feel like you're setting a poor example for the other people around here when you do this or whatever and have that conversation. But err on the side of trust with your people. They're your people for a reason, okay? And trust them to get the job done. Give them course correction as needed. Keep them in the loop. Make sure they keep you in the loop, but by and large, let them do their jobs. Don't micromanage people. Probably the number one reason that people leave a good job is because their boss is up their ass and they doesn't need to be. And while we're on the topic, don't share your stress with your people. 
You need to insulate your people from the bigger picture stress. That's your job. It goes right here on your shoulders. That's your job. You don't need to bring everybody on board to the pressures that is are your responsibility to handle. Okay, that's your job. You can talk with other people outside of work about maybe some of the stresses and strain that you're under and have a healthy conversation about that, but you don't distribute that distribute that amongst your people. It's not going to motivate them. It's going to stress them out, and now you have a whole team of stressed out people. And when everybody's stressed out, y'all can't lift each other up. Okay? You bear that burden. That's your job. That's why you get paid the big bucks. You're the manager. You're the leader. You carry that. Let your people operate. Okay? Leave them alone. Let them do their jobs. If you need to, reel them in, talk to them, but let them do their jobs and you'll be amazed at the quality of work, the proficiency of work that gets done on your behalf just to put a smile on your face.